Hi, it's, it's Brendan Chaplin here, and we're here with another episode of Strength and Conditioning TV. And today I've got my colleague and friend Ryan Blake. How are you doing today, mate? Good, mate. Good. I had a very good weekend on this mentorship. Um, yes. Three day weekend. Yeah, it was a really solid weekend, wasn't it? Really Intense, good. but so much stuff there. I think, yeah, everyone's left a bit bit tired. Yeah. But I think it's because everyone's put uh, full effort into it and we've just covered so much. Yeah. And I think like part of the reason that it works so well is that we've, we've got a great environment. We've got a great venue here at the Oval in London, in Surrey. And it's just packed with history and, and culture that is all about performance. So it's an inspiring environment, isn't it? Exactly. I mean, this is my third season here at the club. And every time I come here every day, I, I'm always a bit mesmerised because it's just such an awesome ground. As you said, it's got a lot of history, a lot of pedigree. And it, it just it just feels it feels special being here. And for, you, for people on the course coming to an ev a, a, a event or a venue like this, just makes it that extra special for them. Oh, totally. And, and I th it's a big part for me, that, because one of the things we try and do is, we, one of our values is world class, and we always try to bring world-class practitioners in, but it's also having world-class environments, world-class venues and, and places that are inspiring for people, you know, yeah. it makes a big difference. Exactly, I mean, as you know, I mean, this, this test ground's one of the the, the biggest um, on the on the cricket circuit. I mean, we've had this year, they've had the Ashes here, lots of international games, um, and, you know, it was last year, but last we had the Champions Trophy here as well, so it's... In, in cricket terms, it is a, it's a, a world-class yeah. uh, oh, uh, yeah. location. So you've been here for three seasons now, yeah. right? So how's that gone for you from an S&C perspective? I know you shared quite a lot on the on the three-day weekend, but um, just give people an overview of what you've done and how things have changed for both yourself and the programme in general over the last few seasons. Sure. This year, we've had a really good year. Um, we've just won Division 2 and we, uh, we've been promoted to Division 1, so we, we're looking forward to an exciting new, new season coming up next year. And, but yeah, the, from a culture point of view, every, every environment has got its, its own culture. Mm. And I, I believe that athletes and teams, they're, they're a product of their environment, and that, that environment's largely de determined by the culture. Mm. And you know, that's shaped by the history, the athletes, the coaches that are part of that but it's definitely improved. From a strength and conditioning point of view, the culture was was okay when I got here, but there, there, were, there were bad habits that were being displayed by some, some players with good intentions, but they could have done things better. And what I've tried to do is just make, make the players aware of what is, what's needed at a world-class level. And from a physical point of view, get them to identify where they're at, mm. you know, support that up with testing and screening and say, right, so you want to get to here, you know, you, you, you're actually here. So what do you think is going to get you that extra, extra distance, what's going to get you to that world-class level? And they put in a lot of hard work, mm. um, you know, they're very talented athletes, but I think it's, it's, it's just about just giving it that extra, extra 110%. Like if you don't put in full effort to your training, your preparation, your recovery, just your, your management of just yeah. yourself yeah. as a person. Yeah. It, it, you can't expect to get the best results out. So it's about being honest. It's about doing things very well and um, with good quality. And for me, the biggest thing really is just consistency. Mm. If you consistently do things well with good quality, whether you are just training to keep yourself in shape or you're a world-class cricket player, you, you're going to get results. Mm. I mean, Obviously, new, the All Blacks won the World Cup yesterday, mm. and I've been watching them in the preparation leading up to it. And I've said to a lot of people, "They're going to win it. They're going to win it." And they said, "Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure." But it, I think you just pick up on things that you you see good environments, happy environments, and hard working environments, and that the culture is created from that. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I totally agree. And We've been talking a lot about it, and it's certainly one of my goals um, myself, but also for strength and conditioning education mm. and all of our mentees is just continually raising your own standards and increasing your own personal performance level. And I'm not talking about you know getting stronger this week, getting powerful next yeah. month. It's actually it's habits. Um, so how do you try to educate the guys here at Surrey to 
to that. You know, you, you've painted a picture for them with here's where you're trying to get to, here's where you're here, now there's a course. Mm. Is there anything that you try to do to, 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 to challenge them to raise their own standards? I think, I think the main thing is, to, is making them take responsibility and be liable for their own actions. So, you know, they're here to be the best player they can, to perform for the team and, you know, some play at international level. And, you know, for them to achieve all those things, yeah, they've got to be honest with themselves. Mm. They, they've got to be responsible for their actions. They've got to be liable for their actions. But they've, just got, they've got to put the hard work in as well. Mm. And, you know, if one person doesn't have a good day, which happens, they, they need to be aware of that. But they need to also be aware that it affects not just them, it affects the team. Mm. So it's... It it's might sound a bit cheesy, but the kind of the club's three key words, the three key values of, of Surrey as a team, as a club, are excelling, mm. um, ambition, and um, like responsibility, yeah. and working together as one team. Mm. And I think that, that that that's you know they're they're very powerful words to have in a culture, mm. in an environment, in a club, in a team, because they 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 very very valuable. They yeah. mean a lot. Yeah. And we've got to do that as well as coaches and that's, again something we've talked a lot about on the Accelerated Development Weekend is us as coaches are raising our own standards to inspire our own clients, our own athletes, our own relationships around us. Um, and I know that's something you're a, sub a strong subscriber of as well, aren't you? Completely. I mean, you know, in, in a perfect world, like getting athletes to carry out a programme is is sounds simple but it, it, there's so many other you know variables to that and you, you have to have values you have to have goals you have to have that honest honesty and you know a lot of the things i was referring to mm. before before you even attempt to walk into the gym yeah and once you've got that and it, that you know they all gel together then you, you're going to be in a really good powerful position as a as a coach as an athlete as a team and Know, performance in all areas is going to go up. Mm. I mean, it's, it's it's hard. I mean, I've always said, or or kind of preached that it's being a coach is a blend between art and science, and it, you know you've got to get the divide right. Mm. With some some players you work with, you have to be more scientific. Some you have to be yeah. more artistic. But but generally, it's a bit of a blend of everything. Mm. Mm. And the culture and behaviour is is just so important. Yeah. No, I, I totally agree. It's it's not about sets and reps entirely. You've got to know your sets and reps, but you've got to be able to build relationships and, and add value, and, and that's truly the essence of, of coaching, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. And, and all the guys that have you know have been here this weekend for the for the th for the three day workshop is hopefully they they've they've seen how important that is because it's been stressed quite a few times. Yeah. And you know I just gave them my own experiences of what what where I've what I've seen and what where I've got to. And, and just the different processes involved in that journey. And it's not easy. And you, you, you know, you, you do fall out with p people and you put, you put in difficult situations. But as, as we were saying earlier over lunch, like being comfortable being uncomfortable mm. is, is what, what it's about. Mm. Everyone can be comfortable being comfortable, but challenge yourself continuously to, to develop, to learn, to, you know, to push yourself to become better at what you're doing. Yeah. Is, is important for success and you know that's hopefully what we've managed to get people to do this weekend yeah absolutely yeah absolutely cool that's really good catching up with you i love that stuff it's it's inspiring for me as well so thanks for for having us here this weekend no pleasure great. mate thanks for having me on board i've really enjoyed it quality that's another episode of strength and conditioning tv and we will be back with you very very soon with more fantastic content uh look forward to it <laughs>